Yesterday we, we had a very interesting thing of grammar. We know that uh, knowing parts of a speech of word is very important for uh, understanding of language. Either we are interested in a spoken language or written language or we are interested in improving our standard of language or we are interested in uh, just qualifying any particular competitive examinations or just you want to get uh, much mass in any board examination. We should uh, just uh, identify the words in terms of uh, their parts of a speech. So noun is a major word class uh, that has uh, just a kind of lexical meaning. Uh, we have already mm, just uh, talked about uh, uh, certain references about uh, the noun and especially proper noun. We have talked that uh, proper noun is very specific. It is just uh, uh, referring to one particular kind of thing or person or place and so on. So here today we have uh, made a list of all the possible um, just uh, things or persons or places which may be included under proper noun. Uh, we can uh, just uh, understand further that there is a very thin line of uh, demarcation between proper noun and common noun. So um, they are just, uh, you know, uh, a little bit uh, uh, so uh, blurred that uh, we sometimes get confused as to the understanding of proper noun and common noun, especially when you use a particular word, uh, just uh, we find just uh, it difficult to identify to what uh, just a word class it belongs, say it is proper noun or it is common noun. It is why I have decided to just make a list of all the things which may be included into proper noun. Now first thing is that the proper noun uh, may refer to the name of a person. When uh, we are talking about a name of a person, say Joseph, Justin, Ravan, Rana, uh, Pratap Singh and so on, you know, all the persons and their names are just included into proper noun. So whosoever are persons uh, in uh, whatsoever country, in whatsoever place, in whatsoever religious identity and so on, so saying uh, the name of a person itself implies that that person uh, is a proper noun. Likewise, uh, we can think that uh, uh, the name of a place is also uh, included into proper noun. No matter it is a small place, it is a big place uh, or just uh, in a certain, certain uh, just a big city, we find there are so many small, small uh, just uh, places. Uh, which are named so uh, whenever there is a uh, just a, 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 there is a question of giving name to a particular place um, to be identified we can say the name of that place will be proper noun uh, like my village is there might is a small place but uh, it is the name of my village that is a place so it is proper noun similarly Sitamadhi, Rampur uh, and Banwari uh, and uh, so on, you know, just uh, when we take into account the naming of a place, we can say that naming of place or names of place will be included into proper noun groups. Now we can say that uh, um, uh, we have the examples here uh, just uh, quoted under name of animals. Suppose dogs and cats and elephants, these are all animals but uh, they are not proper noun, they are common noun. You know, we can say when uh, we are asked tell, to tell the name uh, of the word class of dog, we can say, okay, dog is a common noun. Similarly, when you are asked to tell the word class of cat or elephant, we can say, no, cat and elephants are also common nouns. But uh, when uh, we give name to a dog, say Tommy, suppose you have a pet dog and uh, we give it uh, a name Tommy, then Tommy is the name of uh, that common noun dog, then Tommy becomes proper noun. Although it is the naming of a dog, however, it is the name of a dog, common noun, then it, uh, it becomes proper noun. Likewise, when uh, we have a cat, but uh, when we give a name to that cat, uh, like Missy, we see when you call cat by the name Missy, 
we see the same common noun cat becomes now proper noun because you have named it and uh, if there is an elephant and uh, it has been named Kimi so elephant as such is a common noun but that uh, elephant is uh, just now um, called by the name Kimi so Kimi is proper noun so what wh why has it happened it has happened because dog includes all the dogs Missy uh, sorry cats includes all the cats and uh, elephant includes all the elephants but uh, when it is the uh, name like Tommy it refers to only one dog to which we are uh, with which we are concerned when uh, we say Missy it is not for all the cats rather one particular cat and uh, when we are just uh, saying Kimi it is not to all elephants but to one elephant that we have named like yesterday we did talk about the thing that it is uh, just one particular kind of thing uh, which is named um, by proper noun so uh, just uh, we can call man so when you can call man man is a common noun but it includes all men but when you say Ramesh now out of all men uh, we are talking about one particular man that has been named Kimi it is the same thing that has happened here so it's a, in a general sense you can say when common noun is named that common noun named becomes proper noun now um, now here we can talk about uh, uh, the name of uh, what name of uh, just uh, town now just uh, either it is small or big towns they are all called proper noun so Muzaffarpur, Bhagalpur, Hajari Bagh you know they are all small or big towns um, so uh, they are called proper nouns now we can say that uh, once again just uh, they are all uh, included under place uh, so it is a small place that earlier we have discussed that place is in terms of town in terms of country and so on but uh, um, they are all known by the name so a place is the broader term but uh, we can just categorize place into town country and something like that however we need a kind of naming to that town country to be identified so um, just even the name of country becomes uh, a proper noun so we can say India Sri Lanka Bhutan Nepal Iran Iraq they are all uh, names uh, of a uh, country so uh, they are all common now it's a proper noun now we can say that uh, similarly Bihar Bengal Punjab Delhi Tamil Nadu you know once again this particular area of uh, land uh, is uh, a particular uh, land area is called Bihar a particular geographical area of land is called Bengal a particular uh, geographical area of land is called Pandav and so on once again it is the uh, it is related with place but here it is certain geographical area which uh, is under the purview of uh, the state so that name of a state is just included into uh, the proper noun group so Bihar is proper noun Bengal is proper noun Punjab Delhi Tamil Nadu all are pre proper noun because they are identified by certain just uh, area of land and so on now we can talk about once again uh, the name of capital you know we say that uh, within the land geographical area of the state uh, or of the country there is the uh, capital uh, and so that capital is also related to place but uh, it is identified as a proper noun so Calcutta being the capital Lucknow, Amritsa, Kathmandu are all proper nouns because they are the name of the capital of particular geographical area of uh, um, land just to say state or in terms of country so we can say here the name of capital is also um, just included under the cap proper noun now we can say that uh, we have another kind of geographical uh, entities uh, like uh, river uh, so river is a geographical uh, entity and uh, that river is named either as Ganga, Jamuna, Satla, Jhelum, Krishna you know so this kind of geographical uh, just water resource uh, is also known as proper noun so we, we may understand that name of uh, river uh, just that I have just mentioned is uh, included into so Ganga is proper noun, Jamuna is also proper noun and Satla is in Jhelum 
Now we can say that there are so many things which are related to time and we have just divided time into different sections. We have divided time into day and sometime into year and so on. So this kind of division of time and naming of the division of time is included into proper nouns. So as the name of day is a kind of division of time, it is a marker of time. So we see that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are all called just a proper noun. Now here once again we are just going to talk about uh, a geographical structure named mountain and so uh, just uh, geographically we can define it but uh, uh, they are all just proper nouns so the name of mountain is also um, just kept under proper noun group and uh, here Alps, the Himalayas are all proper noun because they are simply names of the mountain. Uh, and uh, just there is another big water body uh, like sea uh, and so that is also um, just a kind of water body and uh, so we can call that Red Sea and so on is the name of uh, um, just a uh, sea so it is also proper noun. Now Ocean 2 we can say that uh, Ocean 2 uh, is uh, just uh, a kind of water body that is the biggest water body. And so we have just given uh, the name to that biggest water body like Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean. So we have found here that uh, water bodies um, are of different types and so th they have been named uh, and uh, all of these categories of water bodies and their names are called especially uh, proper nouns. So uh, we have just mentioned it now. Uh, there are the names of book, you know, like Quran, Bible, uh, Mahabharata and so on. These are all important books and so the names of books are also included into the proper noun category. Likewise, we can say there are reading materials. Uh, so is the name of newspaper, name of journals, name of magazines, you know. Uh, they are all reading materials. So we can say that... Uh, they have been included under uh, proper now so we can say hindustan the times of india the telegraph you know being the name of newspaper so they are included into proper noun uh, now we see that we have many kind of institutions and organizations which are just uh, functioning their respective roles for certain purpose so we see that these uh, and, and just uh, uh, organizations uh, and institutions are named and uh, the name of that uh, institution and organization is a uh, proper noun. Uh, so State Bank of India, Central Bank of India, UPSC, these are all the names of organizations. So they are all proper noun. Now likewise you find that uh, uh, the road is also named to be identified. And so the name of road uh, just uh, is uh, kept under proper noun like uh, Sarganga Naja Road and Grand Trank Road and so on. They are all very well-known roads into India. Uh, but we can say even in Mohalla or locality, we are giving name to the roads. And so whatever name of the road is, they are proper nouns. And so name of bridge is equally kept under proper nouns. So Rajender Pool and Havra Bridge and uh, Gandhi Setu, they are all the names of uh, bridges. So they are also just known as proper noun. Earlier we have talked about name of day. This time we are talking about name of month. It is a larger section of time that uh, we are covering by that uh, uh, term month. But uh, you know as it is the just division of time into certain uh, quantity of time. So they are the name of the month is called uh, proper noun. So January, February and Karthik, Magh. You know, depending on different uh, calendar system or system of uh, um, just a datification, so uh, they are definitely proper nouns. And uh, here we can say that uh, we have so many monuments, historical monuments, and uh, like the Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Qutub Minar. You know, these are all historical monuments, and uh, the names of these historical monuments are just proper noun and. Uh, there are historical incidents also in the book of history 
we find uh, there are so many historical evidence which have been discussed at, la at length and so they are also just kept under proper nouns so civil disobedience movement quit india movement these are all uh, just historical moment great historical moment in the freedom movement of india so we can say that uh, civil disobedience movement and uh, quiet india movement are all uh, proper nouns so just uh, we have uh, possibly uh, uh, made the list of the things or the namings which may be belonging to the proper noun and it can help us understand when uh, we are just using the word the Taj Mahal we should all, always ha just uh, have an idea in our mind that Taj Mahal is a proper noun because when um, later on we are talking about the rules of noun we um, know that uh, there are certain rules which are applied to only proper noun while cert certain sections of rules are applied to common noun so if uh, we do not have um, just the idea of difference between the words uh, used as proper noun as a common noun we cannot uh, apply those rules uh, completely with surety and uh, to avoid errors especially common errors in our competitive examinations we have to understand that kind of thing and for better uh, spoken and written English too uh, it is essential to understand the word actually I am not talking about definitions because uh, definition is uh, going to help us to understand the word and its classes. Uh, if uh, we are simply learning the definition and uh, we are not able to decide whether the um, just uh, um, uh, you know what you can call a star uh, is uh, just a proper noun or common noun, uh, we simply cannot apply the rule correctly. Um, we will be just uh, at a loss what sort of rule is to be applied to a star um, um, just uh, we should consider star as common noun or proper noun so we have to uh, identify each word that you are using into the sentences that we could apply the rules correctly and we can just avoid the errors in competition that you are making or in examination also uh, university or school examination certain kind of uh, questions are uh, asked uh, to just avoid this kind of uh, errors and so uh, it was essential for me to inform you all these kind of things so it is enough for today uh, and uh, so um, uh, I think that we have now better uh, idea to know actually the word whatever word is coming we will be knowing that uh, the, the, the what fort of Darbhanga is common noun because it is sorry proper noun because it is the name of the fort made by uh, Darbhanga Maharaja and so on it is in this way uh, we should understand the word which is class for better uh, improved English and uh, thank you once again for watching all the uh, discourse